Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Jennifer Marie VO. In my channel I teach you different ways to make money online by reviewing different websites and telling you a real and honest review of how much money you're expected to make and how difficult it is to make money with each of these websites. Now today's video is a requested tutorial by many different subscribers on my channel to review the transcription website Casting Words where you get paid to transcribe. So you're going to go to castingwords.com and then what I want you to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're going to click on freelancers and that will get you to workshop.castingwords.com. So transcribing made flexible and convenient. Uh, the breakdown freelancers transcribe, edit and complete other short jobs online at your own pace, work as much or as little as you want when you want. No fees, we pay you, you don't pay us. So there's three easy steps to get started. Sign up, work, get paid. So I'm gonna open up the FAQ, which they have here. And let's go over to the FAQ. And it says, who freelances for casting words? Okay, so basically it's like all other platforms like CrowdSurf, Rev, Transcribe Me, uh, you do transcribing and editing. You need to have a computer, internet access. You have to be at least 18 years of age. And then a lot of people might wonder, how do you get paid? Well, you get paid via PayPal. So if your country doesn't support PayPal, I'm sorry, that's um, the requirement here is to have PayPal. So it says you must live in one of our supported countries or states. And then it says see below for details. So you can check your country by clicking on this link. And basically what they want you to do here is to put in your country here and see if you can receive payments, not just send payments, but receive. So obviously the United States, you can send funds and receive funds. Now let's try India. Again, you can send, you can receive, it's okay. Let's try the Philippines. Okay, you can send, you can receive, no problem. So a countries that you can't on here is um, obviously you can't find Pakistan, which is unfortunate. Basically, if you have a PayPal account, um, you can probably work for casting words. So let's go back to the FAQ. So let's look at getting paid and how much money you can get paid because I don't want to waste your time with this tutorial if you think the pay is too low. Why would you want to sign up? So here... Um, you get paid based on your grade. So rejected work, grade zero to four is discarded and redone. So it is not paid. Work graded five gets the base pay amount. Work graded six gets a total of 1.5 times the base pay amount. Uh, work graded seven gets a total of two times. Okay, so all the way up to work graded nine, out of 10 gets a total of three times the base pay amount. So you get paid more depending on how well of a job you've done, which is great. So here it says the short answer is you get paid between 8.5 cents and a bit over a dollar per audio minute. Now, 8.5 cents is very low for an audio uh, minute, but maybe that's for someone who's getting graded five out of 10. So if you were doing, got graded nine, then you would get, you know, 26, 27 cents per audio minute, which is still very low. But anyways, it says it can go all the way up to a dollar per audio minute. So maybe it just depends on the file type. And we will look at that as we apply. So you get paid every Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. I'm going to keep the FAQ section open in case I need it later on, but let's just get started and create an account. We're going to click on register or log in now. Okay, we're going to put in our name, put in your first and last name. Let's put in your email address. Let's put in your password. Also, what I want you to note is it says U.S. residents. Please note that we are unable to create new accounts in CA, DC, HI, IN, and all these different states at this time. In a number of states, you will be asked to provide additional documentation before your account is activated. Now, I'm going to click Get Started. Okay, so now step two of four is the freelancer application. You're going to put in your PayPal account email address. So that is where you would be getting paid. Then you're going to put in your first and last name, put in your address. Now, 
stayed in province is only for US or Canada. Put in your zip code, again, only for US and Canada. Put in your country of residence. Then you, are, you will agree, read, you can click to read the terms and conditions and click agree. And then again, uh, read the independent contractor agreement. Um, and then once you have read that and agreed to that, you can click next step. Now it says freelancer application about yourself, step three of four. Please tell us a little about yourself. This will be visible to both customers and other freelancers. We will also read this as part of reviewing your application and it's required. So this is important, I think, because if they want to hire you, they want to know that you speak English well. So don't start typing like, hello, I from Canada. No, no, no. You have to have proper grammar. Um, so for me, let's say, for example, my name is Jennifer and I'm Okay, you have a maximum of 500 characters, so just write something small like that and then click next step. Okay, so it looks like right here they're saying I'm a new editor, new transcriber, fluent English. So it looks like they didn't make me do a test. Okay, so I just clicked on this under the FAQ section and it says, do I have to take a test? And then it says maybe. When you create an account, you will be asked to provide basic information and fill out a brief bio. Then some workers are directed to a transcription test, which involves transcribing a short audio file. The test serves as an introduction to our assignment format and also allows us to verify that your work is accurate, displays correct English usage, and that you have read and understood the style basics in the Quick Start Guide. Let's open up the Quick Start Guide. If the system does not direct you to the test, but sends you directly to your dashboard, that means you are not required to take the test. In that case, please check your email for your welcome message, which will provide further info and provide links to the style guide and other resources. Please note that whether or not you take the test, you will need to read and understand the full length style guide before working on paying assignments. So I live in Spain, but I have my VPN on in Canada. And for whatever reason, they are not making me do the test, maybe because their system can recognize that I'm a fluent native English speaker. I don't know. So I haven't had to take any test. I'm going to also open up the style guide. Okay, so we have two different style guides. We have the quick start style guide, and then we also have the main style guide. I'm going to go to the quick start style guide so I don't have to read too much and it's quite short. So it says follow these guidelines when taking the transcription test for the casting words workshop. Transcribe semi verbatim. So omit non words such as um, uh, mm -hmm, and stutters. Omit filler words that are used out of habit and do not add meaning like or you know are often used this way. Omit words or phrases that serve only as a prompt for the other person to continue. Okay? Mm-hmm. And omit false starts, which is when a person stops mid-sentence and starts over, if the false start does not provide any new information. Then it says, do not paraphrase. Keep words in the order spoken. Do not type words the speaker did not say. If the speaker makes any grammar errors or grammatical errors, do not correct them. Label the speakers. Each speaker must have a unique label. Use a speaker label, even if the audio only contains one person. A speaker label contains one or more capitalized words, then a colon, then a single space. It may also contain a number. See the sample transcript, for example. So I'll open up that in a, in a new tab. Use the person's name if known. If you know their full name, use it the first time they speak. On the su second and subsequent labels, use the first name only. If you don't know the person's name, use their role, such as interviewer or interviewee. If you don't know name or role, use numbered man or woman labels, man one, woman one. Use a speaker label at each speaker change and after a descriptive tag. Do not relabel the same speaker on consecutive paragraphs. So tags. Use a XX tag for inaudible or indecipherable words. So if you cannot understand what they're saying, you can use an XX tag. Uh, XX can replace one word or a whole phrase. Punctuate around the tag just as you would the missing words. 
Use a question mark tag if you have transcribed a word or phrase but are unsure if it is correct. The tag goes before the word and lets the editor know this spot needs extra attention. Use a SP tag before a word if you know you have the right word but can't verify the spelling even after a reasonable attempt to do so. Use descriptive tags such as laughter, applause, pause, background sounds only to indicate sound events that are not words but are needed for context. These tags go on a line alone, like a paragraph. Use a speaker label the next time someone speaks after using a descriptive tag, even if it's the same person who was speaking before. Okay, general. Insert one blank line at every paragraph break, speaker change, and descriptive tag. Keep paragraphs short, 400 characters at most, where possible. Break long compound sentences into shorter ones where possible, but do not create sentence fragments. Spell out whole numbers between 0 and 9. Use numerals for decimals, negatives, and all numbers 10 and up. If used, we prefer the spellings OK and All Right, although be aware that these words may also constitute filler that can be omitted. Do not put timestamps anywhere in the document. Do not use a colon followed by a space anywhere except speaker labels. Follow basic English rules for grammar, spelling, punctuation, capitalization, etc. Research unfamiliar vocabulary and proper nouns to verify spelling and capitalization. Okay, lots, lots of information, but it's a nice little summary of what you have to do. Let's go ahead and click on the sample transcript. Again, they're showing you here. This is, uh, they've got the first name, the first one, they know the full name, Jenny Coleman. So they have that, then the colon, and then her speaking. So this is the beginning of the transcription. So I'm labeled with my full name. All right. But after the first time you will be labeled with your, with only your first name, right? And then you just have it as Jenny John. This is great. This is a really nice little um, sample that you can keep open to see what you have to do. You can see, for example, here, this gets weirder all XX period. So this tag, they don't know what they're saying. Yeah, this is really nice. I would recommend to look at this as you're doing the test if you have to do a test. Okay, so let's go back to the dashboard. So at the top here, um, they'll give you information, your how many jobs you have completed, pending, approvals, rejections, They'll show you your payment. Um, and then at the top here, we're going to click on available jobs. So let's click on that, see what we have available. All right, well, we've got lots of things available. We've got 193 total. It shows you the length that you have. Uh, and then it shows you the pay per minute. And then the average pay here. All right, I'm going to click on length and you can order this by length. So this one's a minute and 59. Bonuses based on grade. So I guess you get a bonus, the average pay per minute and the average pay based on grade seven work. So if you get higher than grade seven, maybe you'll get paid more. Okay. So when you want to do a job, let's just click on this first one. And as you can see here, they tell you your average reward plus bonus is 34 cents. So I guess you get this bonus if you do really well. That's what I'm guessing. Let's click on this one. Okay, uh, then it says you are currently viewing this job in preview mode, accept it to work on it. So this is the preview and you have to click accept to start work. Okay, so they'll tell you a little bit of information about the job, if they want you verbatim or non-verbatim. Okay, it says double check that your transcription matches the audio on this page before submitting. Download the audio after you accept the job, not before. Save your work frequently. This web page does not save your work. You must submit the job before it expires. Closing the window does not pause the timer. Never add timestamps to a transcription job. If you close this page, you can always get back to the jobs that you are assigned to via the My Jobs tab on your dashboard. So that's instructions. Then they've got transcription job. So you can do a little preview and listen to it. Okay, so I don't think this job seems that difficult. So I'm gonna go ahead and click work on this to accept the job. 
Okay, so here at the top, they tell me how much time I have to complete this job. It's telling me I have three hours and 29 minutes and this many seconds to complete it. So that's great. Uh, what's this say? Okay, so if you decided I don't want to do this job anymore, I can click return job. And then I can say there's bad audio. It's entirely silent noise broken, not enough time or other. At the side here, they've given some information, the title. And then they have a button here that says hide everything but the audio player. So I'm going to click on that. And that's great because now everything's been hidden so I can press play easily. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try to transcribe this and see how I do. And I'll let you know afterwards. Okay, so I've just finished my first transcription with casting words. Overall, it wasn't that difficult. The man spoke clearly and slow, like it was definitely much easier than a lot of different transcription websites, so that was nice. Um, I had to use, it was just one man talking in this one, so again, you still have to label the speaker even if it's just one. Then there was a part where the audience laughed, so I had to include the laughter tag. And there was one word I wasn't sure how to spell because it was a name and I couldn't Google it. And then another time where I didn't hear what they said. Again, it was this weird name that they didn't have in the customer notes. So I'm done this now. So now I'm going to go ahead and click view and submit. So they will show you your little transcription, how it's all done. Um, and then click, you can put in any comments if you want and then click submit job. Okay, so once you finish a job now, it's just given me a, an another job instantly. Uh, at the top here, it says your transcriber rank isn't high enough for this job. So I'm not sure why they're offering this job to me. So then I guess I can go next job. And this is if I want to do another one. Again, they're saying my rank isn't high enough for this job. So I'm going to click again on casting words workshop. If that happens to you, I don't know why they're showing me jobs that I don't have a high enough ranking for, but you can just go ahead back to the casting words workshop and then you can just click on one of these jobs and start doing it again. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on my jobs. It says I have no outstanding work. Previous work has been completed or timed out. So I don't have any jobs I'm currently working on right now, but imagine you took a break or your computer crashed or something. You could go back here and click on my jobs and your assigned job would be here. I've gone ahead and clicked on dashboard and here it says one streak, one completed, one pending. So right now they, it says my today's potential is 17 cents. So that job I just finished, I should get paid 17 cents for if it's been approved. And right now it's under pending. Okay, so this is still pending and it's been a few hours. I'm not sure how frequently they review your files and approve it, but it is pretty late in the evening. So what I'm gonna do is end this video now and make a second video once this does get approved to show you what their feedback was, what their review was for me, and if it was easy for me to make that money that I made for transcribing that one job. One thing I've noticed that I want to show you is if we go back up here to available jobs um, before, because this is quite a few hours now after I did my original tutorial, there were tons of jobs that were available to me. Well, obviously those have all been taken up and now there's none available. Now, if you go to um, all jobs here, there's tons of different jobs, but these jobs are for people who have a higher level. So once you work your way up to a higher level, sort of like it is with Rev, uh, Rev.com, then you will have access to all of these different jobs. But the jobs that you're currently able to accept, because when you just sign on, you're at the you know level one or level zero or whatever. If you go to available jobs, these are the jobs. They filter out the jobs that you're unable to do. So if we go back to all jobs, if we go back to all jobs, You'll say that a lot of these um, have a higher rate, um, maybe because they have to be rushed and others because they're more difficult. Like if you look here, these ones are the pay per minute is 125, 92 cents. So it's, and then they show you the average pay for these jobs. So these ones are much better pay than the ones that we did before, but these ones are obviously more difficult. And then there's also um, a bonus as well on top of, on top of it. 
So this is just interesting for fun if you want to kind of look. Um, and also the different jobs. A lot of them are transcribe. Um, and then others are edit transcripts. One is improve a grade six transcript. But again, you can't actually do these ones until you improve your ranking. So until then, just really keep your tab on available work or available jobs. And then just keep refreshing this. Um, keep reloading the page to see if there's any new ones. Oh, look, available jobs. I've just refreshed it and boom, I have a whole bunch of new ones that have just um, popped up. So that's good to know. And as you can see, these ones, the pay range is between 17 cents and 30 cents per minute, whereas the other ones that we were looking at um, were much higher rates. So you can work your way up to getting paid more money as well. Again, I will see you guys in the second part of this tutorial, which should be much shorter, just giving you a little look at what the feedback is like once you once your job is approved, and then how to get that money into your PayPal account. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more videos on how to make money online. Thanks for watching.